between some of America's most densely populated cities. Demonstrations rolling right through another night. The jam-packed streets overflowing with anger, but officials hope not another wave of COVID-19. New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo giving voice to concerns across the country. We spent all this time closed down, locked down, masks, socially distanced, and now mass gatherings with thousands of people in close proximity one week before we're going to reopen New York City? What sense does this make? From Houston. We do not want a surge of COVID-19 in our community uh, because we dropped our guard. To Miami where several young residents tell me they want justice for George Floyd too, but haven't protested yet because they're afraid of violence and the virus. Does the virus scare you? Of, of course. course. We work at the hospital, so it definitely scares us. We don't lost doctors, we don't lost nurses, so it scares us, of, of course. I feel like people are being distracted from the fact that coronavirus exactly. still exists. A pandemic capable of gathering steam with crowds clustered so close together. On Monday, the first comprehensive study published on whether masks and social distancing can keep the virus at bay. Some simple actions show a gaping difference in risk of infection. 3% if you're wearing a mask, about 17% if you're not. A 2.5% risk if you're keeping at least 3 feet of distance from someone else, spiking to almost 13% if you don't. And health experts say the danger is only aggravated with each canister of tear gas. Tear gas makes people cough, sneeze, their eyes water. And when that happens, the respiratory droplets that carry the virus can travel further, meaning they can infect a lot more people. The potential chilling to leaders like Chicago's mayor. God forbid that we see a spike that overwhelms our health care resources, just as we saw light at the end of the tunnel. For now, a quest for justice on the streets, with many hopeful that can happen safely.